Another week, another Attack on Titan episode. And this week, we're joined with even more people, but we'll start with the familiar faces as our for our introductions first. Mr. R, introduce yourself first. Good morning, everyone. I am Riker Seven, or Mr. R, because Kyle's never known how to pronounce my name. Uh, I mostly stream video game content, but every now and then I'll talk about anime, which is why I'm here. You're going through that uh, that uh, little little known game. Uh, what what's it called again? Right now, Elden something. Yeah, that, that yeah that, uh, that that unknown indie title by the relatively small company from software. Elden Ring. It's uh, it's good shit. I think I think you like it, Kyle. But Kyle also doesn't play video games, so never heard of it. I heard it was inspired by um, another small indie manga called Berserk at some point, Sam somewhere. That's what I've heard. And some fat fellow uh, helped write for it. I hear George something. Yeah. (laughs) Oh. Funny you should mention the the Berserk stuff. Like, there's always been a great sword in the Souls games, but apparently the one in Elden Ring that I haven't found yet is literally just Guts' sword. Just on just just an exact model of it i mean there's a picture when you die and it's just like wolf guts so i'm like yeah. i want to look like that guy <laughs> give it to me bacon i haven't introduced you yet and you're speaking i don't like this <laughs> oh, Everybody, it's jockey rules, bacon baby. go ahead bacon oh it's me the rule breaker jockey bacon that's what you need to know breaker. do you still yeah you still got the covid right now oh yeah well i think i do i'll test today if i'm negative i wait another day and then I'll be back out in the wild, you know. I've been, I've been, uh, I mean, I haven't had to be inside. Technically, in the UK, yeah. you have COVID, you can <laughs> do whatever you want. But, um, like, I could go sneeze on a grandma and she could be like, oh, thank you. But, uh, yeah, so I'm waiting. I'm trying to be a thoughtful citizen, but also I'm being lazy. So that's why I'm here. No, I like, don't. I don't think I've ever taken, well, I know for a fact, I've never even had to take a COVID test. That's how little I go outside. Yikes! Oh my good grief, Kyle! Oh my days! You uh, yeah, disappointing. You, you make. I mean, it's such an experience, man. You you gotta go do it. Do they still it's, put the it's, thing it's, up it's your like nose? To... Is that the still the thing? Because I know my mum had to get one at one point, but uh, I did not. Well, I sometimes mean, uh... you have to do up the nose or back in the mouth. I mean, you have to do both. This is like it's like eating different types of food. It's just a necessary human experience. Although the UK has mostly gotten rid of the back of the throat ones, which is nice because mm-hmm. those are the ones I hated doing. Yeah. Uh, now it's you get now it's a thicker swab that you jam even further up your nose and swivel about for fifteen seconds in each nostril. Fifteen seconds, Jesus Christ! People suffering out it's here. Something like that. But um, enough COVID talk here. We don't want to get demonetized, though these videos aren't monetized because no, we no. don't have a thousand view uh, subscribers rather. But for the first time ever, we are joined by an additional person, one Mister Elite Ari. Uh, yes, hello. <laughs> I, I'm Ari. I'm Elite Ari. Um, I have three YouTube videos, um, and two of them are about Attack on Titan. So here I am. And that's how he got here. And and they're both very good. I would highly recommend them. Oh, so they're both good, but the right third now. one isn't. Which one's bad, Bacon? Go ahead, tell him. No, 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 no. I'm talking about both. Uh, Attack on Titan ones are good, because this is Attack oh. on Titan discussion. Hmm. This, yes, this yes. Is, I don't believe you. I think you got a hater among us. And he's consistently <laughs> uploading. Uh, uh, we don't have to talk about that. I look, at, I look for my YouTubers. That's what I like. Yeah? Uh, all your favorite <laughs> fellas, they all upload consistently, well, huh? Yes. Like secondary entertainment. Very consistent yes. uploads. Love that guy. That fella is a consistent uploader, frankly. Um, but yes, Ari was a chatter and then made some videos and then we watched those videos, some of them on stream. They were good. And so he's here now. Uh, maybe one day, chat. Yeah. if you aspire, if you persist, maybe you could even be in here. Though I wouldn't count on it. But usually in the introductions, we do the mini uh, review or a few sentence review, and we didn't do that. So we'll go back around. Um, Bacon, did I... No, I start with Mr. R. Mr. R, you go... Go ahead. Tell us what you think about this episode. <clears throat> uh, so I think my overall thoughts are... I clearly had misremembered a a bunch of the chapter because there were scenes where I was like, wait a second, we've skipped to this. Then I look, now I've read ahead and I'm like, oh wait, no, that's in the next chapter. So clearly I didn't, it wasn't, there were bits of the chapter that weren't very memorable for me. I thought the episode was for the most part, it was good. The animation looked a bit weird at some point. I'm sure we can get, we'll get into more details of that later. I wonder if it's because we spent the last few episodes with that big sunset filter. So now that everything's Mm. in the daytime, everything looked a bit unfamiliar and off, but 
there were a couple of scenes specifically where I was like, I'm not. Is is this the is this the, the same animation style? Has something changed? So, hmm. okay, uh, Bacon, your turn. Uh, it was a pretty normal Attack on Titan episode, so it was good. It was nice, um, and it's a bit of build up. I mean, yeah, it was it was probably one of the first episodes where I remembered every single detail Ooh. in them from the manga. It wasn't like, oh, I forgot about this part. Uh, so it was. I feel like my memory isn't all bad when it comes to this manga, which is nice. Okay, uh, Mr. Ari, your turn. Yeah. So, I mean, I pretty much like every episode of Attack on Titan. Based. Um, yeah. Yep. This. I would say this is probably my least favorite of this part of the season, but it was still good. Uh, I didn't really rem. I, I, there's this few, like maybe even last chapter, and then the few chapters going forward. I really don't remember much from it. Like I knew there was the whole Annie Pie scene, and I don't remember that at all in the manga. So oh, do you, do, how do you there. forget the Annie Pie discourse? I felt yeah, like I, I don't know. Maybe, maybe like I month. like. Oh my god! No, I mean, I was I've, like I've heard of the discourse. I just don't remember reading it. Like, this it's, chapter it's was crazy. miserable when it came out. Every uh, we were on defense left and right. I remember it uh, as if it was yesterday. But um, I think I agree with yeah. basically what everybody was saying. It's just kind. Of, this episode just there was like uh, no spice. There wasn't any cool directorial moments. I don't even think, which is what I've been getting off on, uh, the last seven weeks or so. Um, it felt a little. Uh... It was... Go ahead, Mister. There was oh. one shot I thought was pretty good near the end. One of the shots of Jean. Oh yeah, the um, just the way it was framed. Yeah. Oh, I should also yeah. say this, uh, so we can uh, t- talk about Minty for our one time every uh, every time we do this thing. He fucking he was trolling me last night. So right after the Pokemon Direct, how interesting. We won't talk about that. Um, the yes, he, apparently the episode came out like the roars. He was watching a Twitch stream that was just playing the roars at like 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 13 hours ago like it was super early I was like it's fucking out already and he just was spamming me with Twitter messages intentionally trolling me and telling me every little thing that happened and every little thing that was different so I don't know if that impacted my like oh I, by the time I was watching the episode I kind of felt like I'd already seen it but uh, it's all Minty's fault is what I'm trying to say but um, I guess all the changes are fresh in my mind because somehow he's an encyclopedia and he can fucking recognize every single little change um but that's something that happened. Uh, I only watched the episode like two hours ago because that's when I woke up. Yikes, it was 4 p.m. But, um, yeah, generally, I feel like it was just a, sort of a subdued episode. And it's kind of a big chapter, so it's a, it's a little weird on that front. Um, but does anybody have anything else to say before we start our chronological uh, scroll here? Can we, can we get this minty guy in here? I haven't seen him in chat. <laughs> He doesn't he like have a lot, a lot He watches VOD sometimes and spams me on Twitter about stupid things I say. Rest in peace. He used to be a... Uh, he used to be around a lot, be, yes. Uh, yeah. Um, so, I'm going to be honest. On, on that front, I thought there were a lot of changes. I thought that the anime had changed Oh, all the changes stuff, are like small, small, small things. And I went back and read the chapter small, and I'm like, things. oh no. Like, yeah. yeah. There I thought it had changed stuff and then went back and was like, oh no, it, it actually hasn't. I think the the reason why you might have uh, thought that is because a lot of the details for like the last bit especially are like coloured in by the next like the next chapter and the chapter afterwards. Um, oh, also mm. on the minty thing, real quick. Uh, again, I'm pretty sure this is what he said, though he will correct me. I'm sure. Uh, I think after this, we don't really know anything about the episodes. Like none of the leakers know what's happening uh, moving forward. This was the last episode that's like storyboard got leaked or something. And people generally knew what was happening like eight weeks ago. So Mm. we're into a fantastical new, never before seen unanticipated Mm. territory next week. So Mm. also, also, so does that mean that this may be the final episode of the season then? Maybe, maybe it just ended and we, (laughs) we didn't know. Um, <laughs> oh, yeah. I mean, they published that um, interview with the director. Yes, the um, and they were talking about how the um, the start of the rumbling was roughly halfway through the season, so they made it sound like there was definitely going to be twelve episodes. Oh. Um, yeah, I mean, yeah. they gave us a they, there is a preview for the next episode. So yeah. oh, yes, of there course. is. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh. It seems from the preview that we're going to uh, continue this like one uh, chapter and episode thing because it seems like it's just going to be the campfire stuff, which. I mean, there's a lot of I'm talking. I'm kind of enjoying one. Before. Yes, me too. I'm kind of enjoying the one chapter per episode setup. I, I'm cool with this. Yes, I yeah, very much. This part has been great. 
I like the, uh, the slower pacing. Um, are we getting into chronological talk now? Oh, I can well, add one thing that, uh, that. <laughs> oh, I'll be super quick then. Uh, one thing about this, this <laughs> episode is that yet. there are lots of moments that were unintentionally funny, I think. Maybe not unintentionally, but there was stuff, uh, I was, I was laughing a lot and I was like, I'm not sure if I'm meant to be, but, uh, yeah. Does. Got a few All right, you'll have to there. tell us when yeah. uh, when That's we me. get to them. All right. Um, first of all, the grievous, the grievous. That's that fella from Star Wars, right? The worst change is what I'm trying to say here. They nearly the did it. They nearly did one tear strand, and then there's one at the end, like right before they cut away from the shot where Hanji gets a second tear strand. Yikes, <laughs> fellas! Yikes! They nearly. I'm gonna be did honest. It. What? I didn't realize Hanji cried in the manga. I, I How do you not remember bit. this? I feel like that's one of the, my favorite Hanji panels, is the one tear strand shooting uh, Jaegerus. Can you still cry when your eye is done like that? Well, it's the, the other eye, right? Yeah, but her other eye doesn't work, right? I don't know. Or... She wasn't crying at they Yeah, she, crying she had two tear eye, strands out of the one eye, Bacon. Oh, I see. Oh, if she my had bad. two out of one, two eyes, then I'd be fine with it. But it's always the the four in total, and this time it was two in total. But she's only got one eye, so they don't get away with it. Uh, also, something something that I I, th- I remembered her shooting them in the head, but clearly here there's like a cool little like a uh, line here where it goes through this bloke's shoulder, and then he just drops. So uh, I thought that was maybe a change, but it in fact was not. Um, I don't know. Um, Nate's saying this is a, a a top three for this for this series for this uh, this this part of the of, of the final season. Yes, wow. I see this now. I don't know. I uh, yeah, dudes. I don't think I agree, but um. Then we go through. I think all this Hanji stuff is the same. Levi I did look pretty pretty uh, ripped. They did show Sanez for a second. I didn't think they would, but they did. It was just one flash. Uh, do we remember Sanez here? Bacon doesn't, but the. Uh, do, oh. Does everybody else? Oh, I do. I, of course, well, I remember. Oh yeah, you had to put Sanez. Oh, I in do. That if only because, thing. You, if exactly. only because you bring him up all the time, Kyle. <laughs> you know, me and Sanez, we go back a little while. You know, <laughs> he was a bad guy. Now Hanji's a bad guy. Uh, was themes amazing? and stuff. Remember? Yeah, I kind of liked how fast it was because I know that if I had to edit that that stupid video, I wouldn't have seen it. Yeah. But it would have been like. It's fast enough where it's not like, you know, if Hanji would have stood there and be like, oh, son, as you were right, I would be like, no. But because it's just like. It was a very brief assumes flash. That, you know, yeah, I quite like that. Um, They they had the scars in the face. I don't think they changed any of this. Um, they did. She was not hammering the wheel when she gets oh. uh, pathed. So that's a change. Um, I think she was just like yeah, sitting near Levi. Hanji was, uh, yeah, Hanji was like kneeling on Levi's. Oh yeah, it's like this shot up here. Um, Minty was mad that they cut the blush. Oh yeah, I guess Hanji's kind of blushing here because I remember this was a big moment also for the Levi Hanji shippers because they're talking about uh, well Hanji's talking about uh, living alone in the forest with Levi and he, while he's sexy and shirtless. Um, is there a blush? Am I missing a blush? There's kind of a blush here if you consider this a blush. I think that I was just saying I've been talking to myself, but. Ha ha ha. What do you say? I, I think when Hanji says, Oh, so you have me talking to myself, there is a blush oh, just, yeah. un- just under the, the yeah. spectacle. You can see it just under the lens. Wait, I'm trying to find this exact moment. Um, oh, they also cut the cool Levi surfboard thing. They didn't show that. And they didn't show his face getting cut up by the blowing away of the sword. So that's not cool. I think we talked about that last week, right, Mister? We were like, "Oh yeah, cool surfboard hover." Or was that? Was, yeah, that I feel like, you? or I feel like I hadn't actually realized that until you mentioned it. But yeah, yeah, and then they didn't show it. They did not. Again, they're always cutting out these cool, like, uh, not cutaway. I don't know, insert shot memes. Um, I th- your, feel an- like your really... angular panel flashbacks. Yes. Your favorite thing. With the light, white-looking lines over them. Um, I think that... I feel like that's it. Does anybody have anything else to say before we cut back to the present and them talking to McGarth? I'm sad they cut out the, the surfboard now. Yeah. They already 
Yeah, no, this is this is, that's a Sam Owen. That's really goofy. Like, it's look fun, how big yeah. that sword is. That's probably why they cut it out. Ah, <laughs> Levi's pretty short. <laughs> oh man, that's a wide sword right there. It man. is very oh, wide. Well, that would be pretty, 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 pretty goofy. But anyway, maybe they're just like, ah, he was far enough away. Anyway, he's a Levi. Mm. We don't so need to cut things that, out like uh, that. Is that... So is that how he only lost two fingers? Because it was only that that yeah, hand the two was the only thing that was really exposed. Clutching it, yeah, I guess. I don't think I even noticed that this has like the cut on it, like that panel. But anyway, um, then we get the uh, the modern day talk with uh, uh, with McGarth and stuff. I didn't remember McGarth threatening to shoot Levi. Makes sense. I'm seeing it now. It's in this. Um, and then we get the let's combine forces uh, first reference. Um, oh. How do they know? How do they know Peak's surname? By the way, I have no idea. Intel, I guess. Uh... I guess maybe from the Yelena. Yeah, the yeah, true. They would have had to have told them at some point. Um, Yelena, yeah, I guess like the who the warriors are is probably public knowledge, at least in the Eldian circles, which. Yeah, I feel. Like yeah, it it's sense. just because even even during the warrior sort of candidate thing, yeah, like you know they use everyone's surnames, like you know they say Leonhart and yes. uh, Braun, Braun and so on. But then PX still PX yeah. rather than. But then again, it probably would have been weird. Like we'll trust that to the quick-witted finger. Yeah, so. wasn't it? Wasn't it a meme for a while that we didn't know PX last name, and then they said it in mm -hmm. a, in a this chapter. Is, I think this is. I think this is when we learned it. I think this it is the chapter where we finally learned her last name. Yeah. And it's um, said by Levi of all people. Because you remember, like the, because uh, I remember the finger stuff, and everybody was thought that was funny for a little while. But I mean, for the longest time, Piek was going to be the surname back when Piek was a dude. Yeah, <laughs> that uh, first cart titan didn't exactly look like our cart titan now, but um, <laughs> he somehow had everything played out. Did they? Yeah, they did show this shot of uh, Gene. Did they? I know we got the Mika yeah, shot. Yeah, they did. Yes, okay. They did. Because that's what I thought had been cut. I thought I thought that the Hanji G one, John's imaginary, imagine imaginary life, like with Mika. Oh no, that's later. I thought that was meant to happen here, not the next chapter. So no. that's why I thought, oh, they cut something. But no, the this the moonlit shot of the Titans and then John and Mika. Yeah. Sir. It's also again and the Annie passing of time is more that. obvious in the anime. Like it's it's another day. Um, but yeah, also, I think I don't see any tears from Mikasa here. Uh, this is another thing Minty told me uh, about how they added Mikasa crying here. I don't know if that fits this. I mean, if, I mean, I think if you look, if you look at the eye, like there's that sort of, there's a sort of patchiness between the, the which looks like it's cutting off the iris a little bit. Yeah. I think that could be like a representation of like welling up. She's she looks... not super clear. I but... don't know. She kind of looks dead inside here more so than like sad. I think she's just conflicted on like uh, no scarf, no Aaron, Aaron bad. What do? Um, we do get cuts to everybody here. We did. They did cut this shot of uh, Gabby trying to figure out how to ride a horse still, and uh, we've still got the cool lamps. We didn't get this shot. I'm pretty sure. Does anybody want to correct me here? Yeah. Did I, I mean, just forget it. Cause, cause we did get a shot, because... but not Gabby doing the thing. I think it's because they've perfect. I think it's because they've already shown Gabby being able to ride a horse yeah. perfectly competently. They cut the. So they cut they the have to uh, keep struggle. up with that. Yeah. Um, Those horses look demonic as fuck, by the way. They do. I only, only just noticed. Look at this fucking fell on. Looks like the berserk horse, but we'll uh, not mention that any further. <laughs> oh no! No. Um, Bacon gets it. Ari, you haven't read Berserk, yeah. have you? I have read Berserk. Oh. I read it like a few months ago, actually. Hmm. Hear that, mm. Mister R? Hear that? And then it ended. It oh, sure no, did. One, one day, one day, <laughs> one day. It's it's a big. It's, it's an alright manga. Yeah. Listen, I want to get the I want to get rush. the physical copies. I like owning the physical editions of manga. Yeah, physical. So that's what I'm sure. kind of beholden to. Um, oh, based supporting the creator, nice. Ah, uh, the creator, will... Marita. Can't... Uh, well, I, I, I will the say creator that, uh... now. I guess his estate. <laughs> I don't think. I don't know. I don't know if he has kids or was married, but anyway. Yes, yeah, support the official um, release. I, I will say that um, McGarth, uh, this is the first time I noticed he doesn't have eyebrows. Uh, I never clocked that before. But Hold that on, just made him a little more scary and terrifying. I was like, 
Why is this boy? Yeah, <laughs> he doesn't have eyebrows. Big, does big old old, yeah. Yeah, I'd never noticed that either, I must say. But um <laughs> I never noticed Krillin didn't have a nose, alright? Leave me alone. Um <laughs> Did we get this? Yes, we did get this Connie internal monologue while uh Falco was sleeping. Um mm-hmm. Again, I don't know if there's so much to comment on here. We can say, like, oh, Fal- Connie development is fun. But, again, there wasn't a lot of changes. Uh, we it had felt back- like a Connie episode. It, this this chapter kind of feels like a Connie chapter as well until the uh, mm. stuff at the end. It um, is kind of crazy, though, how, like, you know, how we do cover so much time with other people as well. Like, I, I just had in my head, like, again, the, magi- the all of the chapter was Connie, not just, like, yeah, you know, again, we have the Louise stuff. I mean, I guess the pie scene is still also Connie's involved. We have Jean. Yeah, the Jean stuff. As well. We have a lot of stuff. Um, It really makes you, it makes you sort of appreciate how much 40 pages really is a lot for a manga manga chapter. Like, it's wild. It it is so much. I mean, it is monthly, so it makes sense. And with Isayam is like, less refined art style, he, I mean, he was also working really hard, of course, so. Oh yeah, that Um, man was killing himself to make this thing. um, Yeah. yeah, Wait, I lost it. Fuck. Oh, I was going to say, like, uh, me and Bacon, when we were talking about the Vinland chapter yesterday, that also had a lot of things where we were cutting around to a lot of people. So uh, I feel like this era of Attack on Titan, I feel like um, from, like, this chapter until uh, they get on the ship after they uh, blow up trains and kill a bunch of Jaegerists, I know this section pretty well, so I remembered basically everything. After that, I'm not too familiar. Even up to the Hanji death, I think I... Because I... What did I reread that for? I think I reread most of this stuff for the, um... For actually the most recent Attack on Titan thing to check what people were wearing and if they had, uh... If they had, uh, Scout insignias on. Um... So yeah, for a lot of this, I remembered a lot of this. Especially this chapter, I just remember. This was like peak controversial discourse. So uh, I remember this all pretty well. But, um... Um... I know a lot of people think the, the the Connie stuff is tacked on or whatever, but I was always uh, I think defending it. I get, I, th- I think it's nice that he's trying that ACM was trying to give Connie more to do because yeah, originally Connie was literally a tacked on character way way back. Like he was created to fill a space at the top ten. Uh-huh. That was his entire purpose originally, and then he kind of just naturally it's... grew into yeah the um. Uh, the whole the whole last arc though we've been rolling Connie stuff like uh, the getting angry stuff sort of coming into this uh, what do you call it fall from grace kind of to pick himself back up again and uh, and the 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 end of this scene um, I don't want to skip the toothbrush joke but um the end of this scene of him saying uh, let's go help people is kind of a very good precursor to what happens at the end of the chapter with the save the world moment of like. All right. Generally, we are going to do. We're going to try and save people, no matter who they are. It's kind of a, a setup to that. Um, I don't think the gag worked very well in the anime. I don't know how we feel about this. Oh, what, with his with his with his face. With his face. I I don't. I remember oh, it's, it not it's really just, working yeah. uh, in season three, part two either, because he has that one moment. Um, I think he's talking to Gene. Oh, where right he laughs about they... that about his, about about having a roof above his head or something. I don't remember what the gag was just... specifically. I just remember the face, but yeah. I think that was the first time. I feel like that was like a new addition to Connie's character, or maybe I'm forgetting an earlier time too. I feel like that was three times. Um, um I have a question for Riker. Um, is Connie's voice actor the same as Zenitsu? Because there was points where I was like, hey, that sounds exactly like Zenitsu. Oh, I, that's like... a good point, actually. I don't know. So... I'm I just thought it would be right interesting now. for Zenitsu trying to feed Tanjiro to <laughs> his mum or whatever. Because <laughs> I think Tanjiro is Falco. Anyway, this is just wow. quite weird. I'm shaking my head right now at this Demon Slayer talk. I thought we were done with this. Um, yeah, we'll bring it up. He is. A t- he is. It is the same voice actor. Oh, oh I'm that's good, great. boys. Let's go. He's got a hell of an ear. This yeah, that is good. Well, it's only because Zenitsu, basically, in, in Demon Slayer, he's always crying, you know? So, like, you never really, like, like whining, sorry. but So, you never quite hear it with Connie here, but there's a few times in this episode that I was like, like, I guess it's just because Demon Slayer is on the membrane, but, uh, yeah. I like this panel. I, I like this shot. 
I don't know. It was like eerie, creepy. This was one it's of those great. moments where I, I was like, I feel like I should be laughing more, but I'm also it's kind of disturbing. Like it, 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 it worked. It is that combination of like where again the media. Yeah, it's fucked up and it's kind oh. of funny, but yeah. Good meme material. I was gonna say, I think like the medium of the manga, like the single panel, you can spend as much or as little time processing this yes. picture as you want. Whilst the anime, you've got no choice. It's it again. I mean, I, this has always been my the big meme about why I enjoy generally enjoy manga more than anime because you can spend as much time as you want going over any panel or as little time mm. as you as you need. The... You set the pace. Whilst anime, you've got no choice. And a lot of a lot of uh, jokes. I'm an expert in jokes, as we all know. A lot of it has to do with timing, right? So if you linger on it a little too long. I, I get the, the Connie stuff later with the Annie stuff, I didn't really think was funny either. Um, I think like the, the uh, what do you call it? Not the intensity, but the, uh, it's not intensity at all. The instantness of the Annie thing later is mm-hmm. kind of what makes it funny in the manga. And I feel like that was kind of lost in the... I don't know. I think she, yeah. I don't know. We'll talk about that later. But we'll, we'll um, get we'll get to that. Yeah, because <laughs> I have things to say. That is what that's the. I'm waiting for us to get to yeah. the high scene. Yeah, like, um, that is that's the discourse. That is the, the um, discourse. That, that's where it's at. Uh, then he uh, tries to get him up. Falco and uh, not Falco. Armin um, and Gabby show up. Uh, Falco slowly figures out he's the Jaw Titan now. Um, I generally, uh, again, another thing, they did actually do the Irwin sideways uh, panel flashback. They actually mm-hmm. did include that. Um, I don't know if they did it very well. I don't know. There was something weird about his face. I like it here better. Um, I generally really like this Armin moment. Armin uh, low-key being suicidal. Um also, I don't. I think the the like instantness and like the motion in this page, um, of Connie jumping to grab Armin is a lot better in the manga, and the teeth cracking and the the the, the motion lines on the teeth it makes it look fast and sharp. Um, I know something about this I scene think, again, wasn't just... the same to me. Also, I really like this panel yeah, real quick of just... him diving in the mouth. But yeah, go ahead. I was gonna say yeah. I mean, it's just again coming coming back to it again. There's a lot like as much as people said, you know having that having the ability to convey motion in the anime doesn't always work as well like especially when you when you're going from a from static images you need to try and turn that into a series of motion the static images you can get a lot setting that single scene with one image there's a yeah, lot of work being done um... there and it and it's really cool whilst set whilst m- moving images for for anime it's just sometimes it's just not as as easy to do there's um when you'd expect it like to be if, easier. yeah if you look at this page it's like you can't really show this shot for more than this split second and have the the energy work in this scene. Like, if you were to have this be, like, a three-second shot of him jumping from over where Falco is all the way and then off screen, it's, like, very hard to frame, like, to capture the intensity. I'm sure there's ways to do it. Uh, I don't really think they did it, but, yeah. It's sort of like, if it's just one like, shot, people yeah. think it's limiting, but it's, it's kind of... The opposite, I guess, but uh, go ahead. If you, like, move the camera around a lot, I reckon that could work. Like, if you, like, uh, pan out really quickly and, like, tilt or something, like, yeah, you know, capture the energy that way. I, um, I think also they, they lingered a lot on arm and fooling, and they really, really... Uh, maybe this is just because I have read the manga, and, like, to me it's so obvious that Armin's not going to die yeah. at this point right now. But, like, they really, really... Tr- made it seem like they wanted you to believe that Armin could die. When I read the manga for the first time, I, was, I, I kind of whisked through this and I didn't fully yeah. register that Armin was really trying to kill himself. It is Just in case. You know, like, so it, anyway, I, I don't know. I guess that it is a big moment for Armin's characterization. He's trying to become Erwin, so like, but anyway, it's think... kind of like, can yeah. we think this? I don't know. The, I think it is, especially in the manga, more of an entirely Connie thing. Like, I don't I don't actually think this is a big moment for Armin's character that much. He's a little suicidal. He's a little crazy. He's feeling the pressure right now. But on every, like, page here, like, there is the big shot of Connie's face. It's very much like a... I feel like it's like a yes, Connie moment, not like a, oh, no, Armin's going to die moment of, like, mm-hmm. come on, Connie, what are we doing here? Of course you're going to save your friend. And then it's, like, a good... Because mm. I like the instant cut away from that because it's not like they fall on the ground and then he goes... Um, and you're crazy or something. It's just like a cut to them being mellow as they watch uh, Gabby and Falco have a moment because uh, Colt's dead. Um, and Connie's just like, eh, yeah, that was, a, that was a bad thing. Um, did they frame this shot with his mother in the background in the anime? 
I don't yeah, remember. They exaggerated as well. Did like they? there was just, she was giant in the frame. Yeah. Uh, okay. I've completely. They, they also had like a really long shot on her eye, like moving and stuff. They did do that. I did think that was like okay. It like moved with them. I kind of. Oh, yeah, I think that works that. in the anime, but I kind of like in the manga how she's like not even. She's just like the eyes feel like they're just staring ahead, and she like instinctually bites down because Titans are scary and weird and not normal. But um, I did like the the eye tracking thing. I do remember that. But um. I thought it was interesting how we saw her veins, I guess. Like, they, I know when they were transforming in a few episodes. Yeah. Have they been doing it? Well, they. they, they I, I was thinking about the transformation thing, yeah. Yeah, so it's like we had a nice close-up and saw her veins. Like, wow, very cool. Yeah. Good job. Mm. Maybe it's a... Uh, yeah, yeah, good that. I feel like the boob the vein thing things. is coming in. People like veins now, vascularity. It's not just girls. Uh, the boys appreciate uh, vascularity now too. So uh, everybody's down <laughs> with new fetish. Um, veins, they're good. That's my idea. I hadn't thought about it in that way. Which but, bit, so, uh, which bit sorry, has, has, Well, has I see veins. veins and I think of boob veins. Bacon, what do you want from me, huh? I think of forearm veins when I'm like getting a good pump at the gym. All right, yeah. That's we can't, what I think of. We can't all afford uh, gym memberships, Bacon, all right? Leave us alone. Okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, jeez, now I'm the bad guy. Ah, no. Bacon, you're always the bad guy, frankly, after that video you created. I'm still mad about it. <laughs> um, Dude, they got 23 likes on Twitter. I was golden. I'm up to People 80 likes on that on Twitter. tweet. 80 likes. I'm really? Famous. Dude, that, it, that's your biggest... You know, that's your big... See, Vinland coming through. It got through. even more than this, the Mura Rest ever. in Peace tweet. Yeah. People yeah. like Kyle more than you <laughs> are dying, I guess. Um... <laughs> It's not incorrect. Stop bringing up Vinland Saga Bacon. You're derailing the conversation. Um, uh, and then we get the moment. So let's all go save people in trouble. Do we have anything else to say about this scene? It's cute that they cry about Colt. Uh, he's a minor character. People mm-hmm. probably don't really care, but uh, Falco cares, and that's kind of cute. You feel bad. Some me. of the reactors cared. Yeah, that's... I could see that, yeah. But that was, I think, more just to do with how, they, how, the, how the, the scene of... Like that whole scene of cult yeah. of like Zeke scream that that was quite well shot in the anime. I'm sure we've discussed yeah. this already. Or have yeah. we? Were we doing this when Two Brothers came out? Hmm. I uh, can't not, be I don't expected to might, remember I these th- things. I can't remember either. Yeah, it all blurs together. I know. Oh, uh, look it up. <sighs> yeah, get on the Just get on the Google machine. I I think we started in episode four because. Uh, because I did an episode four thing by myself and it was just really bad. So I was like, fuck it. And then I uh, messaged uh, Mr. R out of the blue and was like, do you want to be my attack on Titan Bacon? And he was like, uh, I guess. And then now we're here. Now yeah, Bacon's trying to be my attack on, on Titan, Titan, Titan Bacon. Bacon. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We're, we're, str- oh, yeah we're, we're streaming in seven hours. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, here we are. It all worked out, didn't it? Um no, oh, it was just yes. Kyle this scene, I, Okay, this scene I actually kind of... I knew was happening, but I only remembered because I remember everybody complaining about it with the memes. But uh, this was another unintentionally hilarious scene. I thought I was laughing the whole way through. Uh, <laughs> oh, yeah, you think people dying is funny, Bacon? Explain yourself. Oh, yeah. Uh, she just left her. I thought that was so funny. I was uh, like, It's oh. so cold. I like <laughs> it for me, sir. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, I get, I get I why like I get why Titan Folk doesn't like it, I guess, but I'm also like, I also found it funny. Yeah, I, but I, I that's thought because it was Titan, that's because Titan Folk like Louise because Louise is a Nazi and Titan Folk are Nazis. <laughs> yes, uh, yes, that that is true. That is true. The um, oh fuck, I completely forgot what I was gonna say. If only this didn't happen three times every fucking uh, time we do this. <laughs> uh, what was I gonna say? What was I gonna say? Uh, fucking uh, scarf, something. I'm looking at scarves right now. Um, I don't know. Somebody else say something quick. Save me. I feel like I feel like the manga conveys better that Louise is like. I never really thought, you know. I did. I think she looks a lot more sort of like like she's sort of fading away, like dying. Even though it's in black and white, she almost mm. strikes me as looking quite pale. Whilst the anime, yeah, the anime. I was waiting to see if they were going to make it more clear. Although the fan translation does say, uh, "There's a frat. It's a pity you'll never be able to see the free world that Aaron Yeager will make." Uh, yeah, so. does she say that in here? Um, she says that in the well. She said that's what I'm reading in the manga. She says that, but uh, in the anime, they said that. I, I I just had it in my head. Maybe my official translation isn't as clear cut as that for some reason. 
Hmm, okay. But, like, she properly looks like she's fucking dying in the manga. The anime didn't look as much, but she still did, said that. Did we get this dramatic uh, shot of her with the scarf in hand walking away from Louise in, like, the background? I feel like this was shot differently, though. I don't uh, think so, but we did get a back shot of Mikasa just walking away, and it, it was just lingered on so long that she just, like, walked away as she was talking about dying, and I was just like, wow. Yeah, that's really inter- cold. And Bacon, so hold on, funny. let's let's do it. Let's let's make fun of Bacon real quick. Bacon, do you know who Louise is? Do you remember her backstory? He's the one that Mikasa saves. Ah, all shut way up, back Bacon. You're supposed to get it wrong, and we were all gonna laugh at you. <laughs> Yikes! Oh, dude, you, you can't you Wait, can't pull a fast one on me. Yeah. <laughs> is... I, I always thought that was really cool, actually, that they brought back yeah. the, this character and the... you know used her for Mikasa's development. I was like, man, Isayama, good writing. That's the, a good. Um... Using of resources. I, I don't know. I really like the scene. I like how... I like in the anime how she's just like, give it back. And she's like not listening at all. I like how cold Mikasa is here. <laughs> I think she does feel bad. Uh, I think she just doesn't know how to feel bad. Uh, and she's worrying about Eren and stuff. Um, I mean, Mikasa said a long time ago that there's, on, there's only a, there's only so many people she actually yeah, cares about. Yeah, she was lying. She's a big fucking liar. That's actually a point <laughs> I made in a video like four years ago. Oh my god, remember that... No, you don't. But remember that Mikasa video? The one where I shit on Mikasa and now she's like my favourite? But I did say mm. that in that video. is like, oh, Mikasa's lying. She's trying to be hard like Levi. Uh, but then she can't kill Ymir and she can't kill Bertolt. She can't kill Ryan or she can't kill nobody. So actually she does care about everybody. But um. But also, Mikasa just maybe just doesn't like fascists. She has no sympathy. I mean, I think she feels I, bad, but not because Louise it. is dying. She's like, yeah, this she, is she, I think she feels, she, she feels bad, but not because Louise is dying, but because... She probably does feel responsible for leading Louise down this yeah. path. Because there's, there's like, multiple ways you can look at it, right? Because it's like, oh, Louise is being Mikasa to Mikasa. Now Mikasa knows how it feels to be weird. and But I don't think Isama thinks Mikasa is weird towards Eren. Maybe a little bit overprotective, but I don't. I think, like, uh, the fandom... I think I definitely, when I didn't like Mikasa, would always talk about how she has nothing but Eren or whatever. Um, people still say that. I think it doesn't... I mean, the anime never helped with that. The anime made it even worse. The anime yeah. definitely amplified Mikasa's... Uh, Mikasa being a big simp for Eren. The, um, fuck, there was a second point I was going to make about what Louise does uh, uh, for Mikasa's character, but now I've completely forgotten. She's Mikasa's Mikasa. She's also... Oh, it's also another thing of, like, this is, like, their legacy of, like, their scout pride, and it's, like, sort of rubbed off here, and it's, like, they... It's, like, clearly, like, a bastardization of it. I actually don't think that was my other point, but uh, it's good enough. It's a change in context. It's a change in context with time, or something like that. Something stupid. (laughs) But, um... Fuck. Are are we, uh... Do we have anything else to say about the, uh, this scene here? Mr. Mr. Ari, Mr. Yeah, Ari I feel like yes. you're being quiet here with your giga yes. brain. I'm I'm talking oh, so my. much here, and I know nothing about Attack on Time. Uh, I don't know. I don't have much to say. Well, uh, Louise, like, it was pretty pretty well adapted. I know Louise is interesting. Um, it is core cool themes and changing context. I guess you are seeing a, um, like you were saying, you're seeing a Mikasa to Mikasa. Um, as the normie said, I think in their reaction, which was surprisingly, uh, I did watch that one. Yeah, it was pretty surprising. That but they that was that said with like impressed. disdain. You can see, you can tell. Oh, I'm gonna name oh, yeah, normies. I, I might be being parasocial, but oh, you can boy. tell Marquetta does not like Mikasa as a character. She doesn't like that she's like simping for Eren. She's definitely one of those people. Oh yeah, like I used to be. So every yeah. time she says that, it's like oh, when she put like I can tell when she puts the scarf back on in the second last uh, twenty minutes of the movie, Marquetta is not gonna like that. Um... No, but no, I no. can't wait for that discourse. It's going to be extravagantly fun. Um, if they change the ending, that'll be even more fire. Oh, oh that'll be hilarious. Mm. <laughs> that would be um, really funny. But yeah. A Louise scene. Isn't it fun? Her last. How sad. She's dead. Um, we get these destruction shots of them like... Oh, that's... Did they... Oh, yeah, they do say, oh, that's yep, the yeah, last that's... Titan walking away. I didn't remember that, but... um. It sounds like the bells announcing our freedom, they say here. How fun. Um, and then we get a flock speech, this flock image that I use in a bunch of videos. Um, this random bloke talking to Mikasa about how uh, she's going to join. She just says, not interested. Uh, mm. That was cute. I think Mikasa he had blonde hair in the anime. anime. He's got really, black hair. Really... But yes, go ahead, Bacon. 
Yeah, Mikasa in the anime looked really, really just dead inside. Like, yeah. just really fed up with everything. Mm -hmm. Even more than she does here. So, like, I feel like it, it is, it's nice because it, it, it feels almost like straight after the Louise conversation. And so she just has so much yeah. on her mind that she's like, I it's cannot like, be bothered with Flock right now. They just want to so. continue on doing this stuff. But, um... I guess this uh, this was something I noticed in the anime and I wanted to see if it was in the manga. It kind of makes it seem like... I think it's more in the anime, though. You can kind of uh, gleam it from the manga here. It kind of makes it look like Mikasa and John are, like, staring at each other. Wait, hold on. Let's timeline brain this for a second. They've already agreed to join at this point, right? Mm-hmm. Yep. I didn't think, I think about that, so... so I guess that makes sense. But Yeah, because it's... yeah, because they agreed to join when John's sort of sitting in yeah. his bed the previous night. I didn't think about that at all, so I guess it makes sense that they're looking at each other. I was going to say, because they we'll love each other, guys. Remember my prediction? It was true. Oh, yeah. Uh, I mean, also another thing is that um, Flock here, he's on the stairs, but in the anime, they're like on like a uh, floor above them, speaking down mm -hmm. with like... That is like true. It's more of like a podium speech sort of thing. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. I did not notice that, but yes, you are correct. Uh, and then they start screaming, devote your heart. And John's a bit more at the back as a result as yeah. well. Yeah. The, yeah. um... I like how John is, like, taller than everybody. He's kind of standing over everybody. I don't know. I felt that was neat framing. They're having a party. We're having a party. I was thinking about this because I'd never thought about this before. I was thinking if this was, like, a parallel to the, um... To the party they have in Liberio, where it's kind of like the last moment before everything picks up. I don't know if that works that well as a parallel, but it's kind of similar. Gabby and Falco are at another festival or whatever. Uh, I guess it's maybe to parallel both sides, because um, that was kind of like a deck. Well, it ended up being a declaration of war, so it's like another war-related celebration kind of thing here. Um, I don't know. I had never thought about that before, but then I was like, oh, I guess. Um... I, I also didn't clock that, like, when they say cheers now, they're so um, indoctrinated that they say, yes. uh, dedicate your hearts when, like, cheersing. I mean, that's, like, next level. Mm -hmm. yeah. Something that changed with context or something in time. That was a, that was a really good transition. <laughs> I, I, I quite like that. It's, it you know, there's, like, all the soldiers screaming, and then they just, to normal blokes, being like, cheers, dedicate yeah. your hearts, and they're like... Have the cool like two beers coming from each side of the screen and clashing in the middle very 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 classic framing it's cool yes. stuff the cutaway um now we've got the dreaded annie discourse we can talk about it they all notice um i guess she does this part here this like after she gets noticed she starts chewing again and then swallows i thought that was an anime edition turns out it's not uh connie gets up here mm. he's laughing thinking it's weird and then we do the hard cut to hitch finding the note the hitch note is cute um what did we want to say about this go ahead so i originally thought that the way they animated her sort of chewing and swallowing was a bit odd i mean yes yeah. you have set the panels in there and it does have like the clear multiple shoes i don't know i think it just looked a bit weird. i think it's because they were trying to they tried to minimize how much was done so like her face was almost unmoving and they just animated her cheeks moving in and out mm. it did look i odd. think like it looked uh, I almost feel like they could have maybe done more of like a, they could have maybe done more of like a Sasha thing where they lit, where she literally just tries to swallow the entire thing yes. in one go and almost skip the chewing part. Uh, it is very funny. Though. Like I love, I love the just the single frame of Annie. This one here, is great... mouth sort of full of yeah, mouth full of mouth full of pie. Yeah. I also feel that like again, Connie. I think this this scene is the one that I wanted to get to about the art style. Like because I originally saw a clip of a YouTube clip. Before like the episode came out in English, I saw a YouTube clip because people upload clips of everything yeah. beforehand, and it was of this shot. And I originally thought it was a fan rec a fan imagining of it because mm. it just looked a little off. I'm not sure what it I can't point at what it was. And again, maybe it's because we didn't have all that twilight, that sort of you know orange glowy lighting, so it just looked mm. different. But there was just something weird. It just seemed weird to me. And then yeah, the combine that, that with the animation of both Annie and Connie as well, although. I kind of wish that Connie's laugh had been a bit more, a bit louder and a bit more, a bit more sort of was hysterical. It, how much, yeah, it did you know, feel like it was like middle of the it. road. It was like not yeah. like it was it was trying to be like over the top, but it didn't it didn't go the whole way. There was and the thing is odd. now that I know that it's Zenitz's voice actor, I know that he can go for it. He can give it. He can give it one hundred and ten percent if he wants to. The, that man can. This that is why I knew, realized it was him. I was like, this this is Zenitz. I will say though, um, for me. I'm different. I the Connie laugh saved the scene. I was like, mm. I completely forgot about the extra munches. I was like, oh, the, this is kind of weird. This it was kind of like cute, funny to begin with, and now it's kind of getting weird. And then 
Colin just burst out laughing and I burst out laughing and I was like this is amazing I, I love it so it worked for me oh, no, I like the laugh I just wish it had been more like I wish it had been like louder more sort of oh, more hysterical is more what I mean I don't I don't have a problem with, with him laughing I have a problem with I don't think he laughed enough I think I think it felt a bit almost, almost a bit fake like he was forcing himself to laugh at Annie but oh I, really hmm. yeah I feel yeah part of it's like a copium what the fuck is happening but um I, this shot here, I feel like they should have emphasized this, like have a camera shake here or something on them all, like their surprise reactions to the fact that Annie is sitting right next to him. Um, another cute little thing that I don't think I had ever like uh, processed was the fact that like uh, Connie's kind of making fun of Annie and Armin like immediately defends his queen. It's kind of funny. It's kind of cute. Um, <laughs> I do like yeah. as well how there is just, how it's. I mean, again, maybe it's like COVID, obviously, like the whole everything's forgotten, but it's just like it's like nothing happened prior to this. That all just you know. Yeah. There's no sort of alarm, sort of. It's Annie, such a casual hell, moment. Uh, yeah, it's so good though. It's such. Which it's Titan such folk a. Hate. Yeah, of course, Titan folk hate it. Yeah, they we got everything. Oh. Everything We didn't even good. say the the c word yet. That can mean a few things, a few bad words. But I'm talking about the worst one of them all. Jk, coincidence. How has nobody said the word yet? That's all I. That's all I heard for a whole month after this fucking chapter oh, shit. came out. That was Co so co coincidence. Oh yeah, my my favorite thing the 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 me the objective media analysis people yes. who hate coincidence. That's that's what I remember Titan the, Fog being mad about. They ruin the Annie thing at this coincidence. Oh, the normies did say that too. I think uh, Serge said he didn't like it because it felt too sudden. But we do get that all the Annie moments later, and I think I did. I, do I talk about that in that most recent video? I think that might have been in a draft, and I cut it. But I talking about how like they save the Annie moments periodically. Like they have this moment here, which is kind of a comedy moment, and then she actually doesn't get too many moments in the campfire thing. But it's not until after that, like the talk with Armin on the boat. It's funny because Ar because this is all she has with Connie because she really doesn't have anything in common with Connie. She's never had many scenes with Connie really. Um, there's the one scene where her and Armin are talking uh, after the, she's uh, secretly killed Sonny and Bean, pulling out the names. Where Connie is also leaning up up against the wall with them. That's the only thing I can think of where her and Connie were on screen. Mm. But really, it's only Erin, who she doesn't really get any scenes with uh, after this. Armin, Reiner, um, and Mikasa. Those are, like, the only characters she's ever interacted with, really. Like, she doesn't have any moments with Gabby or... Well, I guess she does when she calls them brats or whatever. Which but, is like... interesting you say about Erin, because I've always gathered that Erin was one of the people that she actually kind of liked yeah. and respected. I, Minty reminded me of an idea I had, and I think this might be in the... I think I say that this wouldn't happen in the Jaeger Master Plan, but this was definitely a thing I thought for a long time, where uh, I would talk about how, like, maybe when Annie... Come no, it was in the Jaeger Master Plan, cause, uh, or it might have been. It was one of the things where I thought Annie might have been in on it somehow, and her dad was connected to it or something. I, I was firmly in the, the uh, Annie Aaron ship category for a little while. Um... There's there's a there's that moment that they cut from season one that's in the manga, um, where she blushes after she like beats him up as a comedy gag or something. But I remember thinking, why did I start talking about this? How am I connecting this back to whatever the fuck we were talking about? I have no clue. Uh, Any Aaron moments? Oh yes, she she doesn't get Aaron <laughs> moments, and then you said that like they seem to like each other. But yeah, um, it is true. Um, it seemed. Oh, it was like I thought maybe Aaron still liked Annie or something, and uh, something would happen. I can't remember what I used to say. All right, it's been a long time. But anyway, yes. But we never do get any uh, Annie lightly references that she must have talked to Aaron, like Arm, and talked to Aaron when they all pop up and like they all had private conversations with Aaron in the final chapter or whatever. Um, yeah. But yeah, outside of that. Um, and obviously they don't want to do the Arm and Annie stuff right now immediately, so we kind of get Connie Annie stuff here, but um, we're saving that for later. Um, then we get the Hitch note. Uh, it's cute. It's very Annie and Hitch's relationship. Uh, is this the last real thing we see of Hitch besides the yawn? I yeah. think so, yeah. I think this is the last we see of Hitch. It's kind of interesting as well. I thought the anime, again, hard to convey tone in a manga, the anime made it sound like Hitch was a bit more pish pissed off, but... I felt I felt in the manga it was more of just she was kind of just like matter almost matter of yeah. fact about it. I feel like Attack she on seemed Titan seemed a bit more a bit more hurt in the anime. Yeah, I feel like Attack on Titan does the like um, the the sarcastic pissed off thing a lot. I feel like Levi's character does this a lot. I feel like that's what they were doing with Hitch. 
in this in, Maybe, in both yeah. versions where it's like she's she, like oh, she, this she looks a little idiot. hurt in that top panel in the middle there yeah she's a little Carl's sad stream. she's like oh, um, she's I, I feel like it's more of a like oh that's that annie girl that i know how in character mm-hmm. and then she's like oh well better eat they're going to save the world or something going to get themselves killed um <laughs> Then we get out. I mean, old... she'll see Annie again in year in three she years will. after this. She will, uh, assumingly, unless they got killed. Uh, they sunk the boat in the harbor. His story was fully bought in the Agris. We got a bad ending. There you go. Um, <laughs> it's ambiguous for a reason, gentlemen. Um, then we get an execution, or not really, nearly. Um, they did make. They don't have the crazy devil man faces. Uh, this is another thing Minty pointed out to me, like in these panels here. But they do do panning shots of them all like cheering and stuff. I feel like they didn't have the crazy faces, but they got the point across that the Jaeger is bad here. Mm-hmm. Um, the really Onikapon speech is not as good as it is in the manga. I feel like these facial expressions are much better. Um, it feels like he's like screaming. I pictured this in my head, like everybody goes silent and they all listen to him and they all have like a moment of doubt. And then Gene steps in and does the fake shots. It's it's it, it's interesting that he they don't cut away in the manga and they just like do a direct shot of him shooting next to a uh, on Nikapon. Mm-hmm. Um, I did. It was, it was it was interesting. I'm not really. Sh- it, was, it was kind of like you know. It's like okay, cool, but it wasn't like I feel like that would have was that place that wasn't placed at a at a title at a ad break would have when an ad break happened. No, they just cut away when for like a the second. set the midpoint. Yeah. Interesting. I don't really know if it was necessary, to be honest. Yeah. But I, I did, again, I did watch the Normies' reaction, and they did buy it for a second. They're like, oh, four shots? And then I was like, oh. So they were kind of, they thought... Mm-hmm. I think I think maybe it. it's because the an- the anime, I suppose, dragged out the four shots. It was kind of like bang, 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 yeah. whilst in the manga, it's like he kind of just shoots four times very rapidly into the ground. Yeah. I didn't remember Piek knocking people over when she ran up, but uh, that was cute. Um... I guess she must have already been transformed as well because we didn't yeah. see any lightning. Yeah, she. The, the, Hanji says right after this, so the cart type can say transform for months or whatever. And oh, of course, yeah. Out. Um, that thing just snuck into Shigenshina somehow. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Big sneaky. Yes, yeah, something or something. Isn't it? Isn't it all still evacuated? Because the party we just saw was in trouble. That's true. That is true. Um, yeah. Blah, 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 blah. Where? Where? Uh, what do you call clog and potholes? Plot holes, not potholes. <laughs> Covering plot holes uh, left and right here. I do love this moment a lot. First of all, this like uh, <laughs> this like soy flock face as he hits the ground here in the manga is great. He does this also when uh, Kiyomi whacks him. Um, <laughs> but this slow realization from Flock as he just like immediately puts it together about how he just got fucked, I think is like specifically the where's me because I do really like this moment I feel like they did it pretty well in the anime but uh, before we move on yeah. to the ending uh, how do we feel about this Anya Kapon thing do you, I like these uh, facial expressions in the uh, manga a lot more yeah I, I, I agree I've with only you, just realised that uh, Jean is always in the background looming over him which yeah. is quite cool composition because we, uh, so. we don't know yet if John's gonna uh, well I guess you probably did know John's not doing a heel turn here but uh, building that tension, we don't know exactly that uh, he's going to turn out to be a, a nice boy again. But um, oh, funnily enough, I've watched one. I've only watched one reaction video of this episode, and it was Susie Lou's. And it was Susie Lou's one, and she genuinely thought Jean had been eaten by Pierre. Oh, I think the noise oh. said that for a second too. There was like one second, and then one of the other ones was like, "No, it's a rescue." And they kind of. Oh no, no, no. she was like properly fucking sobbing until uh. we saw <laughs> until we saw Jean later. I was well, like, it's what? fucking Gene, who cares? C tier character, let's move on. No, I'm just kidding. Um, Absolutely worst take. Don't <laughs> listen to... Don't watch Carl's videos anymore. Bad takes. Yeah, but... Uh, yeah, d- 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 Hild's pretty good. How about that Hild character, Bacon? She's pretty good. Yeah, oh, not so she, much. She, she, she's alright. She's alright. Um... Stop talking about Midland Saga, Bacon. Make it... Stop bringing it up. <laughs> um, oh, I'm sorry, Carl. <laughs> the, um... Anything else to say here? On your Capone, good boy. When when he's saying stuff, you know he's right. Yeah, so I yeah. think that's what you need for like the condemnation of all these soldiers. Oh, basically. I'm gonna check because I like to do this weird like language check. I don't remember him saying xenophobic. Does he say that? Maybe I do remember yeah, that. Now do. that I think about it, does he say that? Oh, that in the anime, in the in the manga, yeah. I'm asking. Oh, 
Oh, okay. What did he say? <laughs> a bunch of uh, he said, nativist bars. I mean, this is the unofficial. Tr- is this unofficial the, or official? Go get, I'll I feel go, like this is. I can't remember. I'll go get my physical copy and we'll see. Do you know what volume this will be? Is it thirty? One or thirty? I don't know volume yeah, numbers. 31. I'm gonna be honest. Uh, Thirty-one. Okay, back in a sec. I know uh, berserk volume numbers. How about that berserk thing? Remember berserk bacon? You didn't like it. I I, I did really? like it. It just wasn't a masterpiece. He's a Vinland Saga simp. He's shitting on it just to put Vinland Saga up. I know it. We're gonna break <laughs> his legs with this reread, all right? And we're gonna convince him. Well, I'm I'm hoping I'm hoping I like it more on the reread. It I'll was more make like you like it more. You I watch. read all of it. Yeah. I think I just read it too quickly. Oh my goodness! I think the official the translation is xenophobic bastards. Now, which pa- right. page is this on? Because it might be right in front of my eyes, and I might just be missing it because I uh, do that sometimes. What have you got the book as well? No, no, I got it on the no. screen. Like, what page is it on? I don't have page numbers, but what's happening on the page? Is it the it's that it's, it's the nativist bastards is replaced with xenophobic bastards okay, okay you were literally on it well so just i was right uh, for one of these languages uh, once they yeah, seem to always panel. follow the official yeah um it's interesting as well it says because in the in your translation it says as a result of that assistance my homeland will be tra- yeah my family slaughtered that's the same and then and now the, the only ones left here are a bunch of pathetic xenophobic bastards does he call him pathetic? I rem- I think he just said no. Maybe he does say that exactly. I don't remember. He, he doesn't call them bastards. He calls them shits in the anime, which I yes. think is yes, yes, he does. Um, Man, the shading. The sh- I don't know if this the scans the shading work in the physical books is really nice. A snake cannot. Oh, I just got a subscribe. Who is subscribing? Android subscribing again for twelve months. Uh, why is this live if you never check chat? Well, uh, frankly, uh, that's a good question. We're probably not going to do uh, the rereads after this. Uh, I don't know if we're going to do those live, but uh... Android's mad that we're not reading chat. But anyway, um... the next thing. Oh, the end. Then we got the ending where we cut to everybody. Um... We've got the moment where we figure out Mikus is in on it too, and Annie spots Shardis, uh, mysteriously lurking. Um, yeah. We got an extra shot of that in the anime as well. We got a shot from like the back, from inside the building yes, as well. Yes, we did, we did. Um, Again, still not super clear that it's Shardis, but... Yeah. Um, the... I wonder if we'll get that. I- I'm still trying to figure out where we end. If we've got four episodes left, I think we probably do end with the big battle at the port with the Jaegerus, which will be a sick action scene. So the Shardis stuff... Are we going to end the Attack on Titan anime TV series with the Shardis and McGarth scene? That'd be kind of cute. Ooh. I feel like there's... Because there's two chapters that that, that that is that port battle. But obviously action, you can animate it quicker. So it might be the Han. Oh my thing. god, my... Pre- I think my prediction could come true. If they're doing one per episode, it means that my prediction that the final bit of the series oh, yeah, the will be... Stuff. I'm going to destroy them, every last one of those animals that's on this earth, yeah, with the big wide the port, shot of his Aaron thunder and the rubber. Port. And the, and yeah. This is when he gets to Liberia, I think. Yeah. I, is Liberia on the sea? Yeah, I guess it is, but Armour would 130, look at the, the ending of 130, yeah. that's what I predicted. That was, yeah. That's been my prediction. I know prediction exactly what you're talking about. It, the, of where we're ending. It might indeed be. If we're doing well, one per episode, that's where it's naturally going to end. And then we're going to get nine yeah, chapters it can't be one after less the movie. Than... Yeah. Well, that's a lot of chapters for a movie, isn't it? Or it's a it? what? Nine? That's like. Assuming this movie is going to be like 200. two hours and a half or whatever. How long was that even yeah. movie? Three Ooh. hours? That's we three hours know. long. They can, uh, again, a lot of that go. is also action stuff at the end, so. Mm hmm. Uh, true, true. Um. Yeah, oh, we've actually them got ten chapters the because we we have we have we have the chapter when they go back when they go to, when they visit. Uh, oh yeah, when they, they visit Marley as well. We haven't had that yet. Yes, that flashback. I wonder if that'll be in one of these episodes or not. Um, maybe it just get cut forever. There's no way they have to introduce. Renzi. I wonder. I wonder if that. I wonder if that episode will somehow get condensed down and basically be the prologue for the film. Yeah. Like the the sort of the recap for the film almost. Yeah, that that would make well, sense. Like, hold like on. the opening. No, because yeah, the Ramsey getting squashed stuff is after the 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 moment yeah. Mister Raz talking about. So maybe they yeah. I don't Next know day, they I introduce Ramsey in the prologue the and then back. yeah, and then kill him in the first like twenty minutes. Uh, 
I don't know. Let them worry about this structural shit. Um, Skull looking 123 and 130 will combine. I think that is the case. I'm, I'm actually, well, I think 123 and 131, I guess. 123 leading straight into 131. Mika's are saying, if I'd made a different choice, yeah. what would have happened? And then it cuts straight to fucking the rumbling. Because 131 is the rumbling, isn't it? That's yes. the. Yeah. 131 That's the, the one where we chapter. get all the. Sh- no. Is that the one where we get all the shots all over the world, or is that 134? Why am I thinking one? That's much later. 131 is Ramsey and Halil and the and the freedom there, and then there's the conversation between Annie and Armin on the boat and the black crows, and uh, it looks cool. But yeah, Um, then we get Jean throwing up much more in the uh, anime. Uh, There wasn't as much time slobber though. Yeah, I didn't real. Yeah, I didn't actually even clock that he was throwing up necessarily in the manga. I just assumed he was like kind of. He just was just spitting out like dunk oh, yeah. rather than actually vomiting. Hmm. Maybe. Um, I really like this. There's also G- that, right, the panel scroll down the panel with his tongue out. It looks it looks a bit weird. Oh yeah. <laughs> um, I was trying to think. East Amber and tongues, but then I thought of the chainsaw man moment where she bites his tongue off. Uh, so that wasn't an easy armor thing in my head. So, never mind. Remember Chainsaw Man, guys? What a wacky time. Anyway, this gene shot I really like in the an- in the manga. I people seem to like the anime version too. Um, the burnt bones uh, is a cool callback. Uh, that's the moment where Gene decides to join the Survey Corps. He's thinking about Marco dying and things like that. The callback that was the first time he decided to stand up for the cause and not just have a cushy life as a as a military policeman. This time it's as a Jaegerist, uh, and he wants to join the Alliance and all that stuff. Him throwing the water at Oni Kapon again is that, like, pissed-off endurance thing where he's faking being mad, but he's actually uh, being nice with mm. Oni Kapon. Um, and then we get the, the Yelena thing about how Magath is mad. Um, oh, anything God. to say? Android, Jean was slurping that Piek gamer girl spit. Yeah. <laughs> Love that. Re- and you know you complain that we're not reading chat, and then you put that in chat. So maybe maybe it's a good thing we're not reading it. Mm. <laughs> well, no, that's that's the only way he can get you to read chat. This is the, this is the vicious cycle we are in. Um, anything? Uh, fuck, I'm trying to think. Burn bone stuff is cute. Uh, yeah. Then we just got the last scene. Ang- Hold on, go very ahead. angry Magath again. Yeah, mm-hmm. I, I think he looks a little angrier in the anime, but um. General's request. Yeah. That's a cool line. But um, then we get Annie kicking uh, Reiner in the face again. Good callback. And then uh, uh, we get the panel. We get the page. The panel page. The, to save the world. Obviously, it was much more horizontal in the uh, anime. It's a cool shot I already made at the thumbnail. Um, I think I like it vertically more, but I'm nitpicking at this point. I definitely prefer in the anime. I think yeah. it's from it's looking up at them, it makes them look a lot more intimidating, badass, a lot cooler. I think um, it makes the moment work a lot better. Uh, just the whole composition of the scene. Uh, I, I, I don't really know how I feel about it. I need to. I think I need to look at it again. I, I feel I'm feeling manga, but I don't know why. I, I like I again. I, I like the verticality, not just in, like it's a full page, but I like how it's like. I don't know. Connie looks so tall here. Look at him. He used to be the short prick, but Annie's still 15, so she's short. Mix is depressed in the background. Uh, I really like the Gabby face here. Sh- of like, I think Annie is actually, should actually be short. I think Annie should actually be shorter in that picture because she was already shorter than all of them by quite a bit. She was like the second shortest after Historia. Yeah, but she's 15, right? So she would have stopped growing, you know, back. You know. Yeah, but Miss Annie should be shorter. Armin, Armin Connor, and uh, Armin Connor, Armin Connor, Armin Connor and Mikasa should be taller. Mm. Mm. Should look taller than her right now. I'll beat him up. But um, yeah. Um. So we got to save the world. I feel like the dramatic music was cute. It was cool. Um. Mm-hmm. Again, I like the the Ryan is trying to sleep. Annie kicks him in the head again. Um. Yeah. It's cute. But that's our episode, gentlemen. Do you have any that wrapping up episodes? Thoughts? Again, it feels uh, there's not too much to comment on uh, this time around. I haven't even got one battery thing, so we can uh, speculate about the future or, or do whatever the fuck we want for the, the last bit here. Anybody got anything jumping out of their uh, brains? Movie going to be based. That's all I've got. <laughs> oh, I'd love to go, go see it in, in the actual theatre. That'd be very fun. 
Um, is there confirmation that Annie didn't age? Nate is asking. Uh, I, I don't think no there's confirmation. Idea. I mean, her hair. I mean, it looks like her hair grew, but that's just because she hasn't. She doesn't have it tied up. Yeah, I feel like her hair is the same shot. If you look at like the first shot, God, I'm such an Annie simp. The first shot of the chapter, it's episode twenty three, but I forget the. Cha- I think it's chapter thirty one because thirty four is where season one ends. Uh, she her hair looks like that. It's the same. Um, okay. But yeah. Uh, uh, next week, what are we getting? Oh, it's campfire stuff, huh? Um, it should be is good. Is the entire chapter going to be the campfire? Because that that's pretty cool. I mean, we get some. We get. Oh, well, you get the flashback where John and Mikasa. Yeah, because I thought I thought the Jean Hanshi, fantasy with Mikasa looking girl. Oh no, that is this chapter. I was I was looking. It loaded the pages wrong. I was like, oh, I thought that was later, but it turns out no, it is now um i wonder if they'll do that since they cut all the fantasy flash forwards hopefully they don't cut this mm. um oh this is where we get the meme genocide is wrong panel that everybody memed on yeah uh, and we we end with flock that... and kiyomi as well flock looking yeah. full full sort of geared up fascist ready for a fight uh, yes oh we are definitely getting this action scene oh it's gonna be great um yeah. Flock looks so... We're talking about verticality. My boy Flock is looking tall <laughs> here. Uh, he's going to get yeah. flipped, though, real quick. Um, I, th- I think we may have to wrap up, lads. I need to disappear, I'm afraid, in the next couple oh, of yes, minutes. Oh, yes, yes, yes. I feel like we're, uh, we're, we're stretching things out. Oh, we get the John covering ears shot again. Oh, I, f- I never realized that that's a callback to the beginning of the chapter. <laughs> it just connected for me. The covering the ears thing. Oh. Wasn't well, that stupid? Yeah. Well, I feel we... like you've definitely referenced that in a video. I feel like you've. I forget things all the time. You remember that? It's yeah. it's no. I, right? I, I don't I, remember what I say in these fucking videos. I'm sure it was smart at the time. Yeah. All right, I guess we'll do any, wrapping up. Any final, final thoughts? Final thoughts. Uh, Mr. I, you go first. Uh, yeah, pretty good episode. I think next week's going to be really good. We're going to get a lot of a lot of char- important character discussion, develop further development. It's going to be good. Yes, yes. Mr. Bacon, you got anything to say? I don't. The episode was nice. It was good. It was fine. It was okay. It was a fun time, kind of. Mr. Ari, your first uh, first time here, you're going to go out with a bang. Say something really smart and really funny. Go. Oh, no. Uh, uh, Episode good. Next episode better. Hopefully. Nice. Hopefully. Um, And that's about it. I fucking I feel like we all just said the same thing. But yes, the episode. I don't know. I remember that uh, we always uh, speculated whether or not this chapter was liked or if it was as hated as it seemed to be over here. And then they did that. Uh, I, I think Minty was the one that pointed this out to me, or maybe it was fucking Miller. I don't know. I remember these pricks' names. They all start with M. Um, one of them pointed out that they did a survey in Japan about like after the the anime ended, uh, the the manga ended. Uh, they did a survey of like one of these colors. Oh, I got the first battery thing. One of these, um, one of the chapters, one of the like most popular chapters is going to get a color edition and all the fans voted in Japan. And this chapter was the one that won over chapter 100. And I think the Levi Beast Titan fight round one. So in Japan, I assume really? that this is actually like their favorite chapter um, in That's the entire really series. So yeah. <laughs> that is wild. Um, it is like that. Anyhow, lads, I must vanish. Yeah. We're all going to end here. Mr. R has to leave. Uh, we are all... Uh, I'll do my outro. Mr. R can uh, bounce whenever. We appreciate his services here today. Um, he's got to go to work. Goodbye, he's got folks. real people things to do. Goodbye, Bye. Mr. R. Have a good day. Uh, with that being said, uh, Mr. Bacon, Mr. Ari, Mr. R, they were all here. It was a fun time. This four-panel thing worked. I don't think the internet fucked up at all. Uh, we'll be seeing Ari more in the future with a potential full series reread that we've got planned though the youtube audience doesn't know the context for this because they don't know about the cancellation yet i still gotta work on that but um look forward to all the future content it'll all be on the second channel i'm pretty sure uh go subscribe to everybody i'm sure their links will be in the description they all vaguely do attack on titan things except for bacon he does villain saga things over there hear about this hild thing pretty cool Uh, But with that being said, support links in the description below. Thanks.